Hello everyone, welcome you all in our YouTube channel Learning Radiology. Then start our today's topic. Today's topic is pressure injector. So today we will discuss on the topic pressure injector. A pressure injector is an electromechanical device which is used to help in deliver contrast medium in vessels at a specific flow rate. It's also called a flow rate injector. There are history about pressure injector. The first automatic injector was introduced in 1950 and uh, their disadvantages like uh, fraction of second required to deliver the required pressures. Personnel had to be present in the radiographic room to initiate the injection. It was impossible to initiate the injection when the heart, is, heart was in diastole. Syringe was covered in a metal and could not be visualized to see if air bubbles were present in the barrel of the syringe. Catheter whipping could occur if there was too much pressure. Too much pressure could result in a vessel dissection. The catheter could break if pressure was too high. Thus, the time progressed, electromechanical injectors were introduced. Um, so, basic components of the pressure injector like control panels, syringe, heating devices, high pressure mechanism. In case of control panel, it is used to set the parameter of the injection sequences and it is equipped with the touch skin and digitally controlled. In case of syringe, it is a removable type, disposable type or pre-sterilized type and its capacity are like 60 to 200 ml and the material which is made up of like polypropylene. There are some dual syringe design like which allow preloading of two syringes and it helps in effective contrast utilization and the saline test inject for more precise control of the contrast delivery. Saline flush following the injection creates a tight bolus for better visualization. There are heating device or, a, or called thermostat device are behind the syringe of contrast medium. So it is an electronic device which helps in maintaining contrast and saline temperature to reduce the viscosity. It is located on the syringe and temperature which is maintained like 38 degrees Celsius or 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Various types of according to the manufacturer. High pressure mechanism. These are electromechanical type. Motor is connected to a jack screw, jack screw that drives the piston and the heating is done by the infrared rays filling of the syringe it's a procedure or a, it's a technique to fill the syringe like firstly we use a sterile technique and in case of manual injection a, a certain amount of air is injected into the vial and same amount of contrast medium is drawn in electrochemical injector the seal and the top of the contrast medium is removed and the medium is drawn up through a sterile extension tube. Controls like lead, fill, reverse and load and forward. Uh, there is equipment like a J-shaped catheter to fill con contrast in the syringe. It helps in the filling of contrast. Uh, second image is syringe and third one catheter T-type of CV connector which help in uh, contrast delivery. All air bubbles should be eliminated from the injector barrel and extension tubing. Once the contrast medium is drawn into the syringe, the heating jacket is maintaining the temperature. Here is your images which show the control panel of the pressure injector like it's a prime button or remote check for the air and remote arming. Uh, there is a formula called as Poisson law. It useful for contrast medium like Q denotes Q equal to pi PR to the power 4 by 8 NL. Like Q, Q denoted as delivery per second, P denoted as pressure in dynes per cubic centimeter, and R for radius of the catheter and for the coefficient of contrast medium of contrast medium viscosity, and L for the length of vascular catheter in centimeter. Now, flow rate. flow rate. Flow rate is defined as a delivery rate or amount delivered per unit and it depends on the viscosity of contrast agent like length and diameter of the catheter and injection pressure. 
it may vary from 4 ml to higher 40 ml per second injection pressure it is a electromechanically powered injector usually indicate the actual pressure and use during the injection pressure injection procedure the pressure ranges from 100 to 10000 psi injector used in the ct scan a uh, ct procedure also require a high degree of control over the injection and its parameter to maximize the accuracy of the study console is mounted inside the control booth or safety of the operator and the flow rate are programmed at 0.1 to 9.9 ml per second and dual programming with the choice of flow rate per volume of flow rate or duration here are the uh, here is a parameter for abdomen like we use 4.0 ml flow rate and 20 ml 20 ml contrast and duration is 0.5 second here image shows the abdomen protocol uh, these are the images we show the protocol we show in the control of the pressure injector which is kept at a console city console or city console here is a city perfusion flow rate here is a city thorax next one city neck and city perfusion abdomen city perfusion thorax coronary angio city abdomen or uh, it shows the slime it also one abdomen injection when we are completed the injection or completed the delivery of the contrast and to the vein this was a screen which show in the control of the pressure injector here are some flow rates chart like CT we use in case of CT diffusion 5.0 ml contrast and 0 5.0 ml slime and uh, contrast in 50 ml volume in milliliter duration is 0.18 cm like CT th same as like CT thorax neck angio and abdomen the MRI injector firstly MRI injector is a non ferrous material and it start of stop start or stop from the outside of the magnet the dual syringe power ahead for the slime and contrast it has an enhanced battery for the more injector between the charges cable the cable which is used in the power pressure injector is made up of fiber optics wire and it's a communication between the injector in the scan room and display control unit of the console room the safety feature which is to prevent breaking the vascular catheter or the occurrence of the mechanical malfunction like pressure limit control, rate rise control, mechanical stop and high pressure plastic jacket. Uh, clean, and maintain, clean and maintenance about the pressure injector like firstly we day to day cleaning is necessary. Make sure if contrast media fall on the device it should be cleaned immediately. And another one is regular checkup help in the prolonged life of the device and less expenditure to service. Thank you. Comment on this video. Like the channel. Like the video and subscribe the channel. Okay, thank you.